You strike out. You resign. So many characters in Zootopia sound so familiar, right? Well, it's not surprising, as they're voiced by major Hollywood stars. Disney's 2016 movie has a large group of seriously talented individuals voicing its animal cast. From Oscar winners to world-famous singers and even a Disney princess. Yes, really, join us as we take you behind the voices to discover who's who. Gosh, think of the headlines. We're starting off with the fox that forms one half of Zootopia's central double act, Nick Wilde. You might know this American actor from his work on Arrested Development, or maybe you recognize his voice from his more recent work, directing and starring in the Netflix crime drama Ozark. Perhaps it's his other film credits that you're familiar with, starring alongside the likes of Jennifer Aniston in Horrible Bosses. Huh, you got it yet? That's right. Nick is voiced by Jason Bateman. The movie's directors Byron Howard and Rich Moore said, It's so distinctively Jason, but in a whole new way. It's the perfect role for him. And he brings all the dry wit and attitude that perfectly jars with the other main character. Sly Fox, dumb bunny. Where would Nick be without Judy Hopps? Zootopia's first bunny cop brings a big dose of much needed optimism to Nick's world, and the voice actor behind Judy actually shares that optimistic outlook. She's an American actor known for her starring role in the HBO drama Big Love and in the ABC fantasy Once Upon a Time. She's got plenty of film credits to her name too, including 2005's musical biopic Walk the Line and 2009's rom-com He's Just Not That Into You. This actor also has experience voicing Disney animated characters, having lent her voice to Fawn in Tinkerbell and The Legend of the Never Beast. Have you guessed already? It's Jennifer Goodwin. Both Judy and I are fiercely optimistic. Someone very close to Jennifer voiced a small part in the movie too. Stay tuned to discover more. Guys, I've been working for this my whole life. Judy comes up against some resistance from Chief Bogo, head of the Zootopia Police Department. This tough buffalo with 2,000 pounds of attitude needs a big voice to match, and he certainly got that. The English actor behind Chief Bogo is best known for his TV roles in HBO's The Wire and the BBC's Luther, plus movies like American Gangster and Star Trek Beyond, and franchises such as Thor and The Avengers, as well as voicing Sheer Khan in the live action Jungle Book and Fluke in Finding Dory. This actor has also taken on such important parts as Nelson Mandela in the 2013 movie Mandela Long Walk to Freedom. We know that you're shouting at your screen now. Yep, it's Idris Elba. This is an opportunity to do something that's funny. Did you shake your thing to Gazelle's tune Try Everything in Zootopia? If you love the pop star's voice, then it's probably no surprise that a world-renowned singer stepped up to the mic to play the part of the Gazelle. And she also wrote that song especially for the movie. She's got such a distinctive singing voice, but did you manage to figure out who she is? We've got one more clue for you. This Spanish-speaking performer voices Gazelle in the Spanish dubs too. You've probably worked out by now that we're talking about Shakira, the awesome Colombian singer song Writer. We love Officer Clawhauser's description of Gazelle. Are you familiar with Gazelle? Greatest singer of our lifetime, Angel with Horns. Speaking of Officer Clawhauser, who doesn't love the Zootopia Police Department's most adorable cheetah? His love of donuts and gazelle, and his enthusiastic attitude must make him a delight to voice. And the actor behind Benjamin Clawhauser's voice has been in a fair few TV shows, including the Fox sitcom Weird Loners and the HBO series Hello Ladies. If that doesn't ring any bells, you might recognize his voice from his ad work. He played a credit card customer representative alongside David Spade in Capital One's What's in Your Wallet campaign. His other commercials include Enterprise Rent-A-Car, Volkswagen, Golden Grams, and NFL.com. The man behind the cheetah is Nate Torrance. Oh, M goodness! They really did hire a bunny! Zootopia has a huge cast of characters, some of whom only have a couple of lines. Case in point, Priscilla, the three-toed sloth who is Flash's co-worker at the DMV. In fact, she only has two words, but the filmmakers managed to get a big star to do it. The actor that voices Priscilla is no stranger to Disney movies. In fact, she's the voice behind one of the studio's most famous characters of recent years. And the casting director managed to get this actor on board because she revealed on The Ellen Show that she loves sloths. She explained how her husband got a sloth to come to her birthday party and she was immediately overcome. That's right, it's Anna from Frozen. Yeah, yeah, Kristen Bell. When she got offered the part, she said yes within a couple of minutes. They describe it as the quickest deal ever made in Hollywood. Yes? 
Flash? That small time crook's name is a big giveaway as to who voices the weasel in Zootopia. Duke Weaselton is a reference to the Duke of Weaselton from Frozen, and the same actor voices both roles. He's no stranger to Disney animated movies, also voicing the parts of Hi Hi in Moana, knows more in Ralph Breaks the Internet, and Alistair Cray in Big Hero 6. Do you know the actor's name? It's Alan Tudyk. In a fun Easter egg, the bootleg DVDs that Duke sells includes version of these very same movies. Wreck-It Rhino, Pig Hero 6, 6, Meow Wanna, and Float Zen 2. You might also recognize his voice as the droid K2SO in Rogue One, a Star Wars story. It's Weaselton, Duke Weaselton, and I ain't talking, rabbit. Some characters in the movie have a really distinctive voice, and the lamb, Bellwether, is certainly one of those. If you're familiar with the actor's work, then having such a standout voice should make it easier to figure out who's behind the assistant mayor. In fact, it's thanks to her idiosyncratic voice that she got a role in the animated sitcom Bob's Burgers. She's an SNL alumnus that landed a reoccurring role in the TV show Parks and Recreation, House of Lies, and Kroll Show. But her breakout role was in the 2014 movie Obvious Child. Since Zootopia, she's lent her voice to Gidget in The Secret Life of Pets and Harley Quinn in the Lego Batman movie. We're talking about Jenny Slate. Playing Bellwether was a dream come true for Jenny. Us little guys really need to stick together, right? Of course, we can't cover the assistant mayor without moving straight on to the actual mayor of Zootopia, Mayor Lionheart. The actor behind the mayor's voice has a long list of impressive credits to his name. His TV work includes Law and & Order, Oz, The Closer, and Counterpart. And as for movies, he starred in the Spider-Man trilogy, plus 2014's Whiplash, which won him a whole lot of awards. Then there's his voice work in Gravity Falls, Kung Fu Panda 3, and various Marvel animations. Ready for our reveal? The man in question is... Jake K. Simmons. He's spoken about how great it is to see the range of your voice coming out in a fantastical character. Okay, Officer Hops, let's see those teeth. The list of big stars go on, with an Academy Award winning actor providing the voice of Mrs. Otterton, the rival otter whose husband Emmett had gone missing. She might be a tiny animal, but she's got a huge star as her voice. Let's drop a few clues so you can make your guesses. This American actress has not only won an Oscar, but also a Golden Globe and Screen Actors Guild Awards. Although she made her film debut in 1996, her breakthrough role came in the 2011 movie The Help. Following other acclaimed film roles, she's turned to TV with Truth Be Told on Apple TV, and Self Made on Netflix. We probably had you at the help, but if you're still not sure, we can reveal. It's Octavia Spencer. Since Zootopia, Octavia has also voiced another animated character, Cory the Manticore, in the 2020 Disney and Pixar movie Onward. Please, there's gotta be somebody to find my image. If you're a fan of Pixar animated movies, then you'll probably recognize the voice of Bonnie Hops, Judy's mom. The actor has starred in no less than eight Pixars. In fact, Zootopia was her first non-Pixar animated film. Although she's only got a small part in Zootopia, she's got a recognizable voice. Let's run through a few of her other roles so you can get that light bulb moment. She voiced Rosie in A Bug's Life, Ms. Flint in Monsters, Inc., Karen Graves in Monsters University, Sally Carrera in the Cars trilogy, and Dolly in Toy Story. 3 and 4. You might actually have seen her acting in movies like Beethoven, Jumanji, Cheaper by the Dozen, Jerry Maguire, and The Green Mile. The actor we're talking about is Bonnie Hunt. Total coincidence, by the way, that she shares the same name. And we're just a little excited for you, but terrified. On the subject of prolific voice actors, the person behind Jerry Jumbo Jr. has lent his vocal skills to many characters over the years, so it would make sense that you'd recognize the voice of the bad-tempered elephant who owns the ice cream parlor. The actor has been in so many animations that it's impossible to list them all here, so we'll stick with his best-known parts. That's Bender on Futurama, Jake the Dog on Adventure Time, Dr. Draken on Kim Possible, Scotsman on Samurai Jack, Brother Blood on Teen Titans, Schnitzel on Chowder, Hammerhead and Sandman on The Spectacular Spider-Man, Aquaman on Batman, The Brave and the Bold, and King Zog on the Netflix series Disenchantment. It's John DiMaggio. We reserve the right to refuse service 
to anyone. Mr. Big is also played by a veteran voice artist. This Arctic shrew is the most feared crime boss in Tundra Town. He's got a band of polar bears at his beck and call. But although the voice actor has used his skills for many characters on screen, you might not recognize him from his rendition of Mr. Big. That's because he does a mafia style voice that is not in keeping with his other roles. This Canadian actor has something in common with John DiMaggio. He's worked on Futurama. In fact, he's voiced a variety of characters on the Matt Groening animation. He's also the voice of Brain in Animaniacs and the spin-off Pinky and the Brain, plus Egon Spangler in the animated Real Ghostbusters TV series. The man we're talking about is Maurice LaMarche. I will take your kindness and pay it forward. Yax the Yak is one of the best bit parts in Zootopia. Who can forget Judy's shock when she realizes Yax isn't wearing any clothes? And his response? We're a naturalist club. The Canadian-American actor who voices Yax is just perfect for the role. After all, he's a cannabis rights activist and is known for his marijuana-themed Cheech and Chong comedy albums and movies with Cheech Marin. You might also know him from that 70s show. It's Tommy Chong. Told you Nangi has the mind like a steel trap. We're finishing up with a fun fact. Remember how we mentioned that someone close to Jennifer Goodwin also gave their voice to a character in the movie? Well, now it's time to reveal the details. The character is the frantic pig who owns the flora and fauna flower shop that Duke Weaselton robs. He comes rushing out onto the street, screaming at Judy to do something. The American actor behind the voice is best known for his TV work in the ABC series Once Upon a Time and the NBC drama Manifest. He also starred in the Marvel Comics film adaptation Thor, and he happens to be Jennifer Goodwin's husband. That's right, Josh Dallas lent his voice to the frantic pig. It's so funny to watch the couple screaming at each other in different sound booths. Well, are you a cop or not? Oh, yes, yes! Which voice behind the character surprised you the most? Which Zootopia character is your favorite? Let us know in the comments and hit that subscribe button for more videos from The Things. Thanks for watching.